Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the saying goes, science and technology are the primary productive forces, which is really appropriate in this ever-changing era. In recent years, global technological competition has intensified. As the core of the field of science and technology, the importance of chips is self-evident. At this critical moment, an exciting good news came from China. Zhejiang University successfully developed a gallium oxide single crystal substrate, which provided a strong boost to the development of China's core. What is going on? Could it be that China is one step closer to becoming a technological power? To say that this gallium oxide single crystal substrate is really a high-tech thing. It is one of the key materials in chip manufacturing and directly affects the performance and quality of the chip. In the past, this thing was mainly monopolized by several large foreign companies. If China wanted to use it, it would cost a lot of money and depend on others' faces. But now, the scientific research team of Zhejiang University in China has overcome this problem with their own ability. How powerful is this gallium oxide single crystal substrate? Let me tell you in detail. First of all, its performance is quite outstanding. It not only has high thermal conductivity and high stability, but also can effectively reduce the energy consumption and heating problems of the chip during operation. This means that the chip using this substrate not only runs faster, but also saves more power and is more durable. Do you think this is amazing? Then someone may ask, what help does the successful development of this gallium oxide single crystal substrate have for the Chinese chip? Hey, you don't say, this is a great help. With this thing, China's domestic chip manufacturing companies can get rid of their dependence on foreign substrates, reduce production costs, and increase the self-sufficiency rate of chips. More importantly, this can also promote the upgrading and innovation of China's domestic chip industry, making China more confident in the competition of science and technology. Speaking of the research, and development process of the Zhejiang University research team, it is really full of hardships and challenges. They are like explorers looking for treasures in the vast sea of science and technology. I don't know how many failures and setbacks they have experienced before they finally found the key to open the treasure house of science and technology. And this key is the gallium oxide single crystal substrate. What's next? What kind of application prospects will this gallium oxide single crystal substrate have? Hey, you don't say, this prospect is really vast. With the continuous development of new technologies such as 5G, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things, the demand for chips will become greater and greater. As one of the key materials for chip manufacturing, the market demand for this gallium oxide single crystal substrate will naturally rise. 
By then, China will not only occupy a place in the domestic market, but also go abroad and go to the world. In the end, the successful research and development of this Zhejiang University gallium oxide single crystal substrate not only made China proud in the field of science and technology, but also made China full of confidence and expectations for the future development of science and technology. Think about it. When China's chip technology becomes more and more advanced and mature, won't China's technology products become more and more powerful and more competitive? By then, China will not only shine in traditional fields such as mobile phones and computers, but also stand out in emerging fields such as new energy vehicles. And intelligent manufacturing. Speaking of the contribution of the Zhejiang University research team, I really want to say, it really fits the old saying: hard work pays off. With their own efforts and wisdom, they finally gave wings to the development of the Chinese chip. I believe that in the near future. The Chinese chip will fly higher and farther. Therefore, China will have to be more confident and patient when looking at the development of science and technology in the future. After all, Rome was not built in a day, and China's science and technology undertakings. Also need time to slowly accumulate and settle. But I believe that as long as China has always maintained this spirit of self-reliance and this momentum of continuous innovation, China's science and technology undertakings will surely become more and more prosperous and more promising. Just like the successful development of the gallium oxide single crystal substrate of Zhejiang University, it has brought unlimited hope and possibilities to China. In summary, Zhejiang University has successfully developed a gallium oxide single crystal substrate to improve chip performance, help the Chinese chip. Get rid of foreign dependence and promote industrial upgrading. Its high thermal conductivity and stability will reduce energy consumption, increase self-sufficiency, add confidence to scientific and technological competition, and have broad prospects.